Okay, this is, he's saying, he's a big hotshot physicist, the double slit experiment is absolutely impossible to explain in any classical way. They have no idea why light does what it does and the particle wave duality. And I think I can show you exactly why. So don't forget, he says, this is where the heart of quantum mechanics lies is in the double slit experiment. If you can explain that, well, then you're good to go, and I think I am. All right, so the guy we're talking about is Richard Feynman. He makes all the little drawings that show how particles interact with each other, molecules and all that, and he, they can't understand how it can be a particle and a wave and how the double slit experiment works. Well, they don't realize that light is spinning. It's not flapping like a flap like that. It's spinning in a circle. If you looked at it sideways, it looks like a wave because it's going faster or slower. The red goes slow, so it's, you know, the green goes fast and the blue goes very fast. And when they hit the double slit, they screw right through there. I can show this right now. This is the double slit. These are the interference patterns, but they're because of the thing spinning like this. Most of it goes through the center, but some of it sprays out the side, and they keep these exact distances. You see how unbelievably exact they are? You see how perfect they are? And on this here, it's like it's screwing its way through. It's just, it's just exactly like a screw. And most of the energy is going towards the center. And as it goes out, it says, you stay away, you stay away, you stay away. And they make these patterns. A absolutely elegant. Amazingly elegant pattern. You see that? That's how come the double slit works. Now, what is coming through here? And what is making these patterns? Well, it's primarily the white particle. All right, before I get started, this goes back to 2013. It's the same time we were finding these same particles, the black and the red, and the green too. But these were photons when you had two back to back. Just one of those is a muon, and that is dark matter. Just the single glowy part is, is the white part, which is the electron neutrino. And they saw, they saw these, and we did too in our light experiments and again back around that same time and uh, so that's Fermilab's release and here's what we saw let me turn this off this is the light coming through and you wouldn't even see that except it started to accelerate because it's headed for this venturi so right here you're just barely seeing uh, the wave coming faster here you're seeing it rocket ship out it's pulling itself right out of its own magnetic wave, you see? That's identical to breaking the speed of sound, only it broke the speed of light, and exactly at that point, it turns into a photon. Here, it's not a photon yet. I'll show you what it is here. It's, it's, it's in the process of becoming a photon. But photons have to hit something really pretty solid to bounce off to give energy to give light back and it's bouncing off so hard here because of the interaction at the venturi that everything around it feels like it just got exploded and it did and the wave back here is just stunningly large now the black particle which is part of this whole situation you see the black and the white and I showed you CERN and Fermilab found the same particles. The black and the red, black and white, black and green, black and blue, doesn't matter. The black is always black with a glowy edge around it, and the, the other one is always the color that it is, and that's the energy. So, well, just to show you quick, here's red. Those are the photons. Now, don't forget I said it has to slam into a wall before you can see the photon in its entirety. Here we're seeing what they call, um, um, they're not really photons, they're somewhere in that lepton area. They're different flavors. 
But you see they're flat like this or they're straight up and down. It's, it seems that's always the way. And these are always straight up and down to earth. They, and the same thing with these. But here is not yet a photon. That's not yet a photon. That is a photon. That's a stronger photon. And right here is the pushback from the Venturi and everybody hitting it turns bright as bright can be. You see that? It's not a real photon, but it's brighter than hell. And so is this, and these are the, the, the same waves that are colliding in reverse. This is pushing out. You see that glowy, glowy part pushing against this? They're pushing back so hard that these turn into photons, and we can see them fabulously. And this whole area here is super con concusses. And here is the uh, super concussion. You see that? That I call super concussion. And the reason it is, is because once you unleash that white energy, it just creates showers. And every little bit of that white energy is hitting the energy coming forward. That energy is not enough to even display itself. It's back here, they're all over the place. But there's just not enough energy even to display back here. This one's only displaying because it's coming forward faster than it should be. These are displaying because they're getting slammed backwards. And I mean slammed. And that is that white little glow right around where the Venturi is. And the photons that we could see started right about here as they broke the speed of light. Well, as they broke it way back here, but here they just escaped. And then you could see the particle nature and we've already seen the wave nature. They're all waves. The wave is no big deal. All right, the wave is a no big deal. Where'd they all go? You see, that's just, it's just natural. It's, it's a wave. And it's hitting all the other particles in the air in front of it. So it's making them give off a little bit of energy. And it's the one that's giving off the most because it's pushing the hardest. Now, here is where that wave starts to accelerate and explode. Once it comes out of here, because the black now didn't get through. The black had to stay back. And only the white came through. Now the black has to reattach. You want to see that happen? Of course you do. And here it is going to happen right in front of your very eyes. There it is. All right, now <clears throat> we're coming down. And we're starting to accelerate because we see that Venturi, and a Venturi makes things accelerate. It just happens. And it starts pulling that thing it's faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And then, bam, it hits here. And what was it pulling? It was putting the, pulling those two blacks and those two whites. Every photon is the same, and you can't break them apart easily. They do not come apart easily. You have to put them in a super collider or do what we did was to separate them through the Venturi. They're just too, they're, that, that is the strong nuclear force. And these are nuclear particles. They're down inside the nucleus. These are the quantum particles. And they glue together just as tight as you can, can imagine. And they call them gluons. And two of them back to back make the photons. And the photons don't have to be green, uh, red. They can be green or they can be blue. And it's the same architecture. And as this goes through the air, it's going this way. This bottom one's charging up. Here, it's not charged up much. It's starting to charge up. You don't see it charging, but the next clip of it, because you could take about a zillion shots at the same time with the CMOS, it's showing it is charged. And it's going to flip. And the white will go to the back, and this white will go to the front, because it's dim, whereas that one's very bright. And that's how they do it. They flip. And the red one did the same thing, only the red one, I didn't see it get charged up. It just flipped. You see it back here? The white is in the front, and now the white's down. Before it was up, now it's down. And that's all they have is up spin and down spin. And when they flip, it must be very, very quick. Because they call it the muon wobble. 
uh, and of course these are the Higgs fields. When the white comes out, it recombines with the black. You see the black? The black is just sitting around waiting to recombine with the white. And then they shoot off here. The white shoots off and starts to set up with a black and create these fields. That's as much as I can take out of that. Every one of these seems to have the same situation going on. They're creating fields. And there's, these are Higgs fields coming out of it in buckets. I call it Higgs on steroids. And I don't see why there's any reason we can't get free energy. Just by squirting this through and collecting it right over here. Cheap. You know, safe. Portable. Any voltage, any, anything you would want. Very simple from these devices, and it should be f literally free. And it, all this stuff is off the shelf stuff. So I'd love to see somebody try doing it. And, uh, and here's the red and the green at the same time. You can see the green much more powerful than the red. And it actually turns the red to tumblers, and that never happens. Even the green is tumbling because they're getting tangled up together as they come through. The green is just pushing the red, get out of the way. And then the green hits where it normally would have hit. And there's the green showing up here. Here it is there. And see the little red splotches came up in here too. I don't know what that means. There's a lot to look at, my friends. A lot to look at. Look at that one. Quite obviously spinning this way. And look at the little, how close those little blips are. Look at how close that is. It's spinning this way, see? And that's through a venturi of some sort. And again, this was Rod Warren did a lot of this. I don't even know how he did it, i got to be honest with you. But he could see these particles very, very well. And, and I'm talking going back to 2012. This is not like yesterday. This goes way back. And he was phenomenal, just phenomenal what he could do. These are Higgs fields. These are being crushed. So instead of red, it's turning to blue, but then it's popping back to the other color. He sent me things that nobody can explain, and I mean nobody, except me. And it took me three and a half years to figure this one out. You see that? Three and a half years I worked to figure that out, and I have I got to figure it out now. So I'm asking scientists, physicists, these are Higgs fields. Coming out of the Venturi here is this coming at us. Are all those fields. And as soon as they hit right here, they turn into these fields. Here there's almost nothing. There's just, there's just this white stuff. You can see right through it. But then all of a sudden, bam. Then they hit in there and they turn back into the same thing they started out as. They started out like this. You see it? It's coming straight through this way, comes through the Venturi, out the Venturi, right at us, the same stuff. <laughs> Only it's, it moved the white off of the black to come through, and now the black is reattaching way out here. You see it? It's reattaching way out here. All right, not only should you be able to get scads of energy here, because that's just pure white raw energy. You see how energetic it is? You should be able to harvest this too. That's just wasted. It's going off into Never Neverland. We need to create a serious funnel so that when it comes in here, it can't get back out in some kind of a bucket in here that a funnel comes in, and when all that white stuff is in here, it's in here. And you can only get through the, the orifice in the, right in the beginning. And once it's inside, it can't get back out. And that would be a photodiode in effect. It would be. Because once it comes through here, 
it just can't come back out because that venturi is so small that the black can't come out. And you might even be able to phase it in. Start it out with let some of the black in and some of the white. And some. It, it, there's a lot to do here, but none of this can be patented because this has been open to everybody for 10 years. So none of it can be patented. You can just figure out something that works really good and you could harvest energy and put a collector right here basically.